blowing hierarchy has 12 horns, and these horns not only work on abdominal grating, which is needed for increasing statement length, they also work on lip movement. The bilabial speech sounds, which we know require lip closure, are in the earlier horns. The lip rounding, which are used in later speech sound development, are their horns that have a rounded mouthpiece. So what we're going to see here is Cameron. And Cameron, not only am I going to ask you to blow the horn, but I'm going to ask you to blow it long. So for example, this horn, you don't have to blow really long. It could just be a very small blow. Good boy. All right. But this horn, in order to make it sound really cool, when you blow, blow long and see what happens. Well, I need your hands down though and your feet on the floor. We always have to look at body posture because otherwise they might elevate their shoulders using compensatory patterns. We want only the abdominals. So take a breath in through your mouth. Whoa! Oh, loud. That was loud. That's because you are strong and this horn would be too easy for you. Some children have trouble with this horn. They have to have, be able to do it 25 times in a row before they can go to the next horn but you did it the first time. Excellent. Want to do it again? Mm -hmm. Okay, could you do it a little softer? Very nice. Are horns fun? Mm -hmm. I know. And they're also really good for your lips and your jaw.